Welcome, Dima. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's start sharing the live broadcast and let's start getting people in the room. Let's make sure that the abundance of rain continues to sound on all the corners of the earth as you're coming in. Let me know where you are tuning in from. Let me know where you are joining me from. Let somebody know we are live. Let somebody know that Good morning, Emerson. Good to see you. Good morning, Mom Jester. Welcome, welcome. Announce where you are hearing the sound of the abundance of rain from this morning. Let me know the country you are hearing the sound of the abundance of rain. My God, my God, it is a beautiful day. It is the day that the Lord has appointed for you to experience the abundance of rain. Hallelujah. I welcome you, Ghana. I welcome Ghana in the house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I welcome Mozambique in the house. Hallelujah. South Africa says they are ready for the rain. Who's ready for the rain this morning? I welcome you, Caroline. God bless you, Mama. And I see Zambia is ready. Welcome. Wow. Nations represented. There's an abundance of the rain of God this morning. Hallelujah. Who's ready for the abundance of rain? Hallelujah. Somebody shout it out in the comment section. Let it rain. Let God open the floodgates. Let it rain. KZN, let it rain. Come on, announce it in the comment section. Let it rain. Facebook, YouTube, let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Thank you, Jesus. Let it rain. Somebody shout and announce. I hear the abundance of rain. Hallelujah. Oh, who's in need of the rain of God this morning? Father, we hear you. Father, we are ready to receive the abundance of rain. Thank you, Jesus. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain on Facebook right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it rain. Let it rain. Hallelujah. Where is it raining from? Is it raining in Kenya? Is it raining in Kenya? Hallelujah. Koraba shoto kodia mahasataka. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Julia says, I'm ready to receive the showers of blessing this morning. Do I have candidates who are ready to receive the showers of blessing? Let it rain, my God, on my family. Somebody sh just announce to God and just worship him this morning as you're coming in. You're worshiping him in the comment section. You're announcing to the next person that it's raining. Do you see the rain? Let it rain. Let the floodgates of, op of heaven open up this morning and shower blessings in abundance. Let it rain, God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. There's a rain of revival that is coming. Hallelujah. It's going to rain. It's abundance. There's abundance of rain. Who hears the sound of the rain? Be magnified this morning indeed, O oh God. Be exalted, Holy Spirit. Father, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I thank you for what you are about to do in our lives this morning. I thank you for the rain that is about to fall down. Father God, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Let the floodgates of heaven continue to rain. Let the floodgates of heaven continue to overshower. Make sure you are sharing at least the broadcast with one person. Just be responsible to make sure that one person comes to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. If you bring 10 more, 10, 10 times blessings for you, let it rain, my God. Father, I want to receive your rain and abundance of blessing right now. I just want to say, let it rain. Let it rain on me, oh God. Let it rain because I've experienced enough drought in my life. I've stepped into my season of plenty. I've stepped into my season of perfection. It's going to rain and abundance of blessing. Talk to me, somebody. Welcome to everybody on Facebook, YouTube, and on TikTok, and on the Zoom platforms, all those who are coming from different nations. Hallelujah. This morning, I hear the abundance of rain. I want you to say before we start that God positioned me for double portion anointing. God positioned me for double portion anointing. Lord, position me for double portion anointing. Lord, position me for double portion anointing. Father, position me for double portion this morning. I'm positioned for the anointing. I need the anointing. I need the abundance of rain. I need the rain. I need the anointing that is brought about by the abundance of rain that is about to fall this morning. Father, position me, O oh God, by your anointing. Let every obstacle on my way to honor and glory, let it be removed. I hear the abundance of rain. Holy Spirit, I worship you. I give you blessings, oh God. I bless you. I bless you. I reverence you, Father God. Father, let it be all of you and none of me, oh God. Father, send down your double portion. Hallelujah. Double for the troubles of everybody that has experienced whatever they've been going through in their life. Double for their portion, my God. Somebody share the broadcast right now. Let's make sure we pick up the pace and we make sure we get more people in the room. Hallelujah. Double for your portion. Double for your trouble. Oh, let the abundance of rain come. Let the anointing of rain of blessings come upon you this morning. Father, I thank you. The Lord is saying, I am sending down my anointing. It's going to rain down on you and it's going to take away your shame. I'm going to turn around your shame and I'm going to turn it out to be your fame. What the devil meant to be shame in your life, it shall be fame for you. God bless you, Facebook. I see you're connected. Come on, Facebook. Shout it out. Let it rain. Somebody say, let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain, Jesus. Let it rain. Thank you, Jesus. As you continue to shout it out in the comment section and you say, let it rain, I see the Lord uh, turning around and accelerating your destiny. We are in the seventh month of completion of perfection. Talk to me. It's going to rain blessings all around. Showers of blessings are coming down. I see you crossing over to your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the anointing announcing you to the world. I see the anointing says that as you leave here this morning, after this protocol breaking altar prayers this morning, you are living with double, a double portion of rain, a double portion of anointing for your trouble in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Is everybody hearing me clearly everywhere? Everybody's good. I feel the anointing. It's so heavy right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let it rain. Thank you, Jesus. The floodgates of, of heaven are open. Hallelujah. There is a necessity for rain. There's a reason why he's bringing his reign of abundance this morning. Hallelujah. We need the rain. The spirit of the Lord says we need the rain. Because when he sends down the rain of abundance, he's in, it's in fulfillment of scripture. The rain of abundance, I need it. I need it, Lord. I need it, Lord. Somebody who needs the rain, say, let it rain. 
when, 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 when you begin to realize that you need the reign of God, you begin to understand that there are seasons of life that are dry. There are seasons that are winter. Somebody who's right here in this broadcast right now, you are in the dryness and the winter of your life. You are in a season where you are saying, God, just let it rain. Can I experience a little bit of dew? Can I, I, at least the dew of heaven must at least show me an indication that something is about to fall. A double blessing, a double portion for my trouble. Oh my God. I just need the rain, Holy Spirit, this morning. I want to come out of my dry season. I want to come out of my winter season. I want to experience the summer of my season. I want to see the sun shining. Oh my God, let it be the sun that is shining brighter and bringing the warmth of abundance. Everything that I've hoped for, every renewal of hope, I will not give up. Let it rain, Jesus. Oh my God. Let it rain, God. Talk me, talk to me, somebody. Let it rain. Child of God, it is not correct that you as a child of God, as a born again child of God, you can only experience dry seasons and winter seasons. That is an error that needs to be corrected this morning. And if you are in that place, I want you to shout it out loud. And you're saying, Pastor Fortune, I cannot cope with this dry season any longer. I need to see the abundance of rain. And I'm asking the Lord and saying, let it rain. There are some of you who are listening to me and you are seeing me for the first time and you're saying, I don't believe in miracles anymore. You are saying the age of miracles has passed, but I'm here to announce to you that there are showers of blessings that are going to fall on you this morning. Your dry season cannot determine. Your dry season cannot determine where you're going and what is about to happen. Because the latter rain is about to fall. Why do I need the rain this morning, Pastor Fortune? I need the rain to soften my ground. The ground is too dry. It needs to be softened. I need the rain, Pastor Fortune. Because I need to know that there is reward for my hard labor. I've been laboring hard. I've been laboring on hard ground. And every time there is no rain, I begin to experience that I'm bleeding. And I've been struggling for years because the ground has been hard, because there's been no rain. But I'm here to announce this morning that there's an abundance of rain that has come. Somebody's listening to the sound of my voice and say, Pastor Fortune, that's me. I've been laboring for years and I've been laboring on hard ground and it seems like I'm not breaking through and not breaking forth and nothing is sprouting out of this ground. I'm here to announce to you that the rain is about to fall and the rain is falling in your house right now. The rain is falling in your car right now. The rain is falling in your workplace right now. Let it rain. God bless you. Let it rain. It's about to rain. Can you hear the rain? Can you feel the rain? Let it rain. Jesus. You will not bleed again. No more struggle. The Lord came to liberate you. He says, I came to give them life and life in abundance. Yes, I may be challenged for a little while, but it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm meant for the life of struggle. I'm meant for an abundance of rain. I'm meant for the life of rain, where the rain is always falling. I know some people look at the rain and they think it's cloudy. And before it rains, there are clouds. There's no way you can have rains before the cloud. And sometimes the clouds gather and it looks dark outside. And you are wondering, is God ever going to come through? I want to talk to that person. You are sitting in that cloud right now. We're going to unlock that cloud. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to talk to the people who are saying, Pastor, I look outside, I'm seeing the cloud, but I'm seeing it's dark. I'm seeing the thunder. I'm bleeding. I've been struggling for years. I don't even feel like God is the God of miracles anymore. I've been using so, so much of my effort on this hard ground. Today, I just want to tell you, rest in the rain. It's time for you to rest. It's time for you to rest. Let it rain. My God, you've been using so much of your own personal effort and it has produced only minimal ground. 
But if you use that same effort on a soft ground, you will produce the results that will amaze the world. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord very clearly saying, the rain that I'm sending down this morning will produce a soft ground. And on that soft ground, tell them, Fortune, that they can sow again. They can come back again. Because the ground is now soft and the ground will yield its fruits. What you plant this morning is exactly what you're going to reap. My God, what are you planting? That is what I'm asking. Any farmer in the house, what are you planting? Come on, share the live broadcast and make sure you are tapping on that screen. Make sure you are populating the kingdom of God. We have to expand the kingdom of God because they need to know that the prophetic word has been released of an abundance of rain. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for those who are gifting as well. May the abundance of rain rain upon your finances in Jesus' mighty name. You need the rain for your open heaven. The heavens above you need to open. I open up the brass heaven right now on your land. Let it rain. I pronounce the rain. This is the season of your rain. This is the season of your open heaven. Talk to me, somebody. There is a climate in heaven that is changing right now. And as the climate is changing in heaven right now, it's changing and it's releasing a rain of healings. It's releasing a, a, a rain of deliverances. Everything shall become a natural phenomenon because the rain of blessings and the rain of healings is touching somebody right now don't wait until i call your name to tell you that you are you need to receive this healing right now in this anointing in this unction right now as i say it right now i'm saying it under the unction of the holy ghost i'm releasing the unction and the rain of healing right now the rain of healing is mending your broken heart. The rain of healing is healing every cell that needs to be realigned. I speak to that anemia. I speak to that iron deficiency in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to that COVID condition. I speak to it right now in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to every blood cancer right now, every form of cancer. I speak the rain of healing and abundance and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, God, change the climate. Do you see the climate is changing in Jesus' mighty name? The rain has come to make sure that the climate of your life, the climate, the climate of your assignment is changing right now. You were lost. You were distracted. You didn't know what is the next step. You didn't know where the provision is coming from. He says, I'm changing the climate because you're going to see the rain. Go outside and look. There's a cloud. Right now, some of you are going into trances and visions as I'm speaking right now because you are seeing a cloud. That dark cloud is slowly becoming white and you are seeing the drop of the rain. Some of you are seeing the dark cloud because he's saying, I have to send such a heavy shower. And it be, might be coming with thunders, but I'm going to break that fallow ground. I'm announcing to the devil that he has to shake themselves off you. Somebody shout, let it rain. Let it rain. Hallelujah. The atmosphere around you is changing right now. I can feel it right now. Some of you are feeling a cold breeze. And that cold breeze is announcing that there's a storm that is about to circle out of you. You've been spinning in the storm, but he's saying, as I'm circling out, I'm bringing thunderous rain. It's coming in its plenty, in its, it, 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 its abundance. Somebody say, I hear the sound of the abundance of rain in Jesus' mighty name. Everything that you need to put, the changes that you need to put, the abundance of rain is here this morning. Hallelujah. He says there will be a reward for your labor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says you can sow because the seed of your harvest shall surely be seen in this season in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says the rain that I am sending down to you this morning is coming to soften your ground. The seed that you have put in the ground is what will produce the harvest. Every seed that you have sown. The problem is that some of you have not planted anything and you need to put your seed in the ground and you need, to, you need to understand that that seed has to be watered. And I want you to call on the seed, on, on the rain of heaven to water that seed. My God, for the seed to bud, for the harvest to happen, we need the rain. I'm only talking to those who have planted the seed on the ground. I'm only talking to those who are seeding something, who have not abandoned their ground, who have not abandoned their ground. The Lord is saying, go back. The ground is no longer hard. The ground is now soft. The ground will yield its return in Jesus' mighty name for healings to happen without a word. We need a rain. Some of you have been waiting just for the healings in your life, but he says, you need my rain. 
my God, thank you, Jesus. For the injection of life on the earth, you need the rain. If life is to come to that person that you are standing in the gap for, that is in the ICU, for that life to come and for them to be revived, God bless you, Anna. God bless you as you give. You need that abundance of rain. So when the, every, when the rain falls, everything in your life will come to life. It will come alive. If the rain falls as you expect it to fall, life will be the result. Somebody say, I've got life. Somebody say, I have life. Thank you, Jesus. Precious, I prophesy life. Let it rain, Caroline. Let it rain, Anna, in Jesus' name. Let it rain, Dima, in the name of Jesus. Julie, let it rain for you in Jesus' name. Frida, let it rain for you. Amelia, I say, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. You have life. Produce, let it rain, Yoa. Let it rain, Brenda. Let it rain. Everybody on, on YouTube, let it rain. Oh, Karabashata Kadia. You need the rain to go and announce the judgment on your enemies because there is a type of rain that is going towards your enemies. The Lord, he says, for the generation of the flood of judgment on the adversary is needed. In Genesis 7, he says, there is a rain of judgment that I will send to your enemies. Let it rain. Anali, let it rain in Australia right now. Receive the abundance of rain in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is saying, I'm breaking your dry season this morning. My God. Listen to this. The word of God says, you don't, you don't have to panic about your enemies because I'm sending the flood for judgment. There are those that the floods will drown. And are those, are those are the ones who are anti-God. Those are the ones who have been trying to pull you away from God. Those are the ones who have been telling you that everything concerning your church and your ministry is demonic. He's saying, I'm sending the flood of judgment. Father, may you save us from the flood of judgment. Save our family members from the flood of judgment. Anybody who has not been walking right with you, oh God. Father, we ask for mercy for them for as long as they are families, Father God. But as long as they are enemies, Father God, we hand them over to you. Anybody who's been, doubling, who's been troubling you, the Lord is saying, I'm sending double trouble. Double trouble for your trouble. I'm going to let the flood deal with them. My God. There is a flood that is coming to drown. Eliamas the sorcerer. There is a flood that is coming to drown every herald in your life. There is a flood that is coming to drown every pharaoh in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak under authority that you gave me this morning. And I say, let the flood fall on every herald. Let the flood fall on, fall on every pharaoh that has been tormenting us. Any person in your workplace that has been tormenting you, that has been persecuting you, that has been gossiping about you, that has been trying to bring you down right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, on the action that you have put on my life. I decree and I declare, I send the flood of judgment. I send the flood of judgment to anybody who has been trying to dislocate and dislodge anybody who's at the sound of my voice, who has been saying, I'm struggling, pastor. I'm struggling in my workplace. I'm struggling everywhere. I feel rejected. I don't know why they hate me, but I'm such a good person. They refuse to see the real enemy. I have been generous to other people, but they have turned their backs on me. My God, I release the flood of judgment right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I leave it up to you. Let the flood of judgment grab, judge them, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Let the rain of judgment fall. Come on, we can share the broadcast. We can make sure that we are populating heaven this morning. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let the rain of the showers of blessings come. But this is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. That those that have tormented you, because I know you will be tempted to feel pity for them. He says, when that rain, that flood falls, 
there will be such an impact on the rivers. It will be so massive and the impact on their rivers will turn into floods and it will cause a colossal damage. Some of you are going to experience people around you who will fall suddenly sick. Some of the people are just going to suddenly drop. Let it rain. They're just suddenly going to collapse. What happens after that? I leave it to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let the flood of judgment, Dima, go and judge everybody that has been tormenting you. Let the flood of judgment go and judge that person who's sitting on your promotion, that person who's been hesitating you to take up your position in Jesus' mighty name. Father, release the rain. It's important that, child of God, you know the timing of the rain. It's important you know the timing of the rain. You go outside, you observe, and you say, God, it's not raining. You go outside. By the seventh time you go out, I'm definitely sure you're going to see the rain. But the Lord has said to me, Fortune, tell them I've expedited the rain because it's going to rain this morning. The showers of blessing. And you need to pray because it's time for the rain. Father, I take authority over every power of hell that has been keeping what is ours in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as I pray with these ones who are online right now, I speak into their lives, Father God. I stand in agreement with them right now in Jesus' mighty name. We take over authority of every power of hell that has been holding back what is ours in Jesus' mighty name, that has been sending out clouds that we are unable to go out and sow. Father God, right now in Jesus' mighty name, anybody who has been procrastinating, Father God, I release them, oh God. Let them feel the fire of God that will send them out there, my God, to execute that destiny that you have set aside for them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that this morning, on this mountain, we recover what the enemy took from us in Jesus' mighty name. I ask for restoration and recovery upon this rain that is falling in Jesus' mighty name. I ask this morning, Lord, that you send your word of restoration as you send this rain that is falling. As the abundance of blessings are falling down, my God, let there be a word of restoration that is resonating with somebody who's listening to the sound of my voice right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask for the rain of revival right now on our lives. Father, I ask for the rain of revival on our families in Jesus' mighty name. I ask for the rain of revival in our ministries and in our churches in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we receive that rain right now in Jesus' name. Somebody shout it in the comment section and say, I receive the rain right now. I receive the rain right now. I prophesy to you. God will visit you and he's going to amaze you. He's going to visit you, lady in red, and he's going to amaze you. But God is going to amaze you. He's going to visit you and he's going to amaze you. Candy boss, God is going to visit you and he's going to amaze you. And on your returning, there's going to be an abundance of rain. There's going to be a revival of rain. I need people who are saying, Pastor, I'm ready to speak into my situation. The word that is coming to my spirit now, he says, looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, a fatter that is be opened. Somebody shout, be opened. Let the heavens above you be opened this morning. Let it be open. I shout, Ephata, let it be open. You need to understand what the Lord is saying this morning. He says, I am opening your life to all manners of blessings. I am op I'm saying to you, you must never look down on anyone who sits under this anointing. Because you don't know who's your neighbor right now. You don't know who you are seeing on the screen right now. Don't look down on them. This anointing that they are sitting on. Shakura basata kariya bahasata. Speak into your situation. Call it. Tell it to be open. Tell your heavens to be opened. Ephata, let these heavens be open right now. Let every door be open. Let every gate be open for me in Jesus' mighty name. Every good door, every door of blessing, let it be open. My God. All things are possible to every single person who's sitting and, and listening to the sound of my voice this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, your word says... Christ in us is the hope of glory. Father, we have Christ living inside of us, the hope of glory. We are confident 
of this thing. We have an expectation that the things will always work out for our good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the heavens open. Can I have believers who are commanding the heavens to be open this morning? Can I have people who are going to demand that the heavens open? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Karabashata kadia mahasata. That lady from Aten Haag. Let the heavens open for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we command the rain to open in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I hear you. He says you have the assurance of the victory. So go for it. Let it rain, God. Let it rain. In all your endeavors, he's saying it will rain. You will overcome every difficulty, every challenge that will come your way. All things are possible to them that will believe me today, Fortune. Tell them all things are possible. They must not count me out. I'm still the God that waters their field. I'm still the God that will make sure that their fallow ground is being turned into a fruitful ground. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus brought out the man who was deaf and dumb and he put his fingers into his ears and he spit on the, uh, on the ground. And he touched his tongue and said, Ephata, be open. And straight away his ears opened. And the string of tongues was loosed. And he spoke plainly. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm saying to you the same thing today. I'm saying that very same thing to you today. I prophesy that your tongue will be open. Hallelujah. The abundance of rain is being released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your ears shall be open to hear the word of the Lord. Your ears shall be open to hear the word of the Lord. I command deafness to go. I command blindness to go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every pain in your body to go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say by the spirit of the living God, whatever has been shut down in your life, I command that that thing is going to open right now in Jesus' mighty name. If your health has been shut down, I command it to be opened right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every shut door of your finances, every door that has been shut for your family, every door that has been shut even in your academics, in your career, in your children's life, in the name of Jesus Christ. I command by the authority of heaven, right now be opened. I command it to be open. Father God, let the brass heaven be opened. Every door that has been shut for your business, I command it to be opened in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the doors of your profession to be opened right now. I command the doors of your job to be opened right now. I command it right now by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. That everything is coming into alignment in the name of Jesus Christ. God has not designed for you a life of dryness and winter all the time. God has not designed for you a life that is going to be shut down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your life is colorful, Brenda. Your life is colorful, everybody on YouTube. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your life is so colorful that God is saying, I am restoring every single thing that is looking colorless, everything that is looking grayed out and dark in your life. I am providing color for you this morning. Somebody shout it one more time and say, let it rain. That is a prayer that you are sending out this morning. That is a word of worship that you are sending out to this morning and say, let your rain come down, O God. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates. Let it rain the showers of blessing that I'm expecting. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain my god my god in the book of first kings chapter 18 the lord says it shall come to pass after many days and the word of the lord will come to elijah in the third year saying show thyself unto ahab and i will send the rain upon the earth so god is saying your famine is about to expire your famine is expiring right now the same way he sent his word to his prophet and he said go and tell the king that there's about to be rain on the earth right now he has 
sent me by the authority of heaven. I've come to announce that rain is coming upon you, Gundo. In the name of Jesus Christ, precious, the rain is coming to you right now. Simelane, rain is coming to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, JT Nguenya, the rain is coming to you right now. I prophesy, Rispa, the rain of God, the rain of abundance is coming to you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, somebody needs to thank the Lord because hope is returning to you right now. Hope is returning to somebody's spirit right now. You can feel your hope well up. You can feel the joy of the Lord well up inside of you. Begin to thank him and say, Lord, thank you that we have hope. My God, our hope shall not be cut off. I'm grateful because it's not over for me yet. And the rain has come to refresh me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody announced to your neighbor, it is not over. Faith speak. I want you to tell your neighbor right now, it is not over. Tell yourself. In fact, because sometimes we cannot rely on these late neighbors. Don't touch your neighbor. Touch yourself and announce in that comment section, it is not over. It is not over. Thank you, Jesus. It is not over. Brenda Burris, it's not over. Sid, it's not over. Somdile, it's not over. Anaga Bengele, it's not over. Olive, it's not over. Dima, it is not over. Somebody, come on. Candy Boss, Emmanuel, it is not over. Granny, let me prophesy to you, it is not over. Yes, 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 Steph, it is not over. Marike Lady, it's not over. Shakura Basataka, Niamaha Sataka. It is not over for you. The Lord is saying no matter how hard it is, no matter how hard it has been, it is not over because the scripture says after many days. So God understands that there might be a season of the after many days. Somebody announced to yourself and say after many days, I've come to the after many days part. There's about to be a sound of the abundance of rain that is about to be released because now I'm at the point of after many days. Somebody type it in the comment section after many days and you put on your name there and say Elizabeth, the rain is about to come after many days. It's about to rain on Frida. After many days, it's about to rain on Chantal. After many days, it's about to rain on TK Webb. After many days, it's about to rain on Fred. After many days, it's about to rain on David. Talk to me, somebody. After many days, it's about to rain on Jester. Come on. After many days, it's about to rain on New Commander. After many days, Stembile is about to rain. After many days, it's about to rain on New Aquina. Talk to me, Lelo Coons. I'm waiting for somebody who's going to demand everything that I came carrying here this morning. If you don't demanded the bible says when the uh, when the woman with the issue of the blood touched the hem of his garment virtue came out i came loaded if you let me go back my god i'm saying to you i'm prophesying no bantu after many days you have cried after many days you have been looking at your way marriage and you are saying after many days god is there a point where this winter is stopping where the dry season is stopping after many days healing has come to after many days when they counted me out after many days even when the medication and the medical aid ran out after many days nathaniel after many days after many days or bimba in the mighty name of jesus christ after many days rispa after many days anamolife after many days i'm here to announce to you that there is a position and a point where you are entering after many days and i prophesy and i release it every virtue inside of me right now those who are available to take it who those who are available to take and say god i have come to withdraw my reign today i want it to rain on me in jesus name in the name of jesus reign after many days melissa you are gonna get a job oh my career after many days after many days, Fatwani, you are about to break through. You are about to break through in the name of Jesus Christ. After many days, you are about to increase in your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's about to rain. Reclaim your rain. After many days, I speak to that temporary contract. I speak it to become permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. That six month contract, it is about to be made permanent. In one month, it shall be validated and it shall be made permanent in Jesus' mighty name. After many days, every immigration paper right now, after many days, After many days, let it rain, Lord. Somebody shout it again. Let it rain after many days. 
After many days, Esther, they've mocked you enough, Esther. I'm speaking to you, Esther Mashangu. There's been too much mocking. There's been too much talking behind the scenes. After many days, in the name of Jesus Christ, after many days, Esther, did you get it? I'm saying the mockery is about to stop. You are about to shine. Let the rain of blessings fall on you right now in Jesus' mighty name. He says, after many days, Lord, visit me. The Lord is going to visit you after many days. As the Lord lives, I prophesy into your life that the, your days of waiting are over in the name of Jesus Christ. As the same, your days of waiting are over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every form of famine that has plagued you for years, right now, Father, I command it to expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Tell me, Lord God bless you. After many days, now, right now, famine is expiring in Jesus' mighty name. Bibi, the, the, the famine is over. The dry season is over. The Lord is saying, I'm wiping your tears. After many days, the days of waiting are over. The season of waiting is over. The season of waiting is over. There are some of you, you know that you have been waiting and you have been feeling like there's something that needs to push out of your belly. There is something that needs to push out of your womb because you are saying the escalation, there's a season. You have been getting into this excitement you can see you are you, suddenly you are just propelled to pray every time you are feeling like there's this time you just need to pray you can't stop yourself and that is the Lord announcing you that there's a shift that is about to happen there's a season that is about to happen Zodra from Uten Hague I see your season of shifting I see your season of shifting and there's gonna be people that are fighting you there's going to be people that don't understand when you make the shift, but you are making the shift and the move. There's a shifting and there's a move. There's a relocation happening in your life. It's going to happen. They might not understand it, but eventually they will have to accept it in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I prophesy it is time. Let your rain fall on your children this morning. Thank you for your word that has come in this morning in Jesus' mighty name. It is not him that runs. It is not him that wills. Somebody say, God, show my family mercy. Show my family mercy. The famine and the absence of rain was dire in the days of Elijah. But you intervened, oh God. Lord, I ask for your intervention right now to everybody who's at the sound of my voice. Right now, my God, every struggle, everything that they've been going through right, right now, Lord, I ask for the abundance of rain right now. Intervene, Lord. Turn it around for their good in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, turn it around. God, turn it around for my good. Let it turn around for my good in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, the same way that you promised the rain in the days of Elijah, my God, you have promised to come to me and my family this morning. Right now, concerning my life, concerning my family, concerning my ministry, concerning my business, concerning my career, concerning concerning my academics, concerning every single thing that is about me, concerning everything that is concerning about my destiny and purpose. Right now, Father God, we submit everything concerning that I've mentioned, oh God. We say, let your reign of favor reign on it right now. Let your reign of abundance and showers of blessings. My God, I hear the sound and I'm releasing the rain on every single thing that I've mentioned and those who are shouting a louder amen are tapping into that and they are claiming it for themselves in Jesus' mighty name. And I say, so shall it be. It can never be otherwise. The devil is a liar and so is his mother-in-law. It cannot be otherwise. It will rain upon you. Showers of blessings are com coming upon you right now in Jesus' mighty name. My God, whatever is pending, whatever blessings, showers of blessings that have been pending, wherever they are held up, my God, my God, whatever the Prince of Persia is trying to do, my God, intervene in that situation. I need your mercy for the expediting of the rain right now in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, let your rain come. Send in your hand. Let the power to send rain in your hand. 
send it right now, my God. Send it right now, my God. I, I, I receive, oh God. I release it, my God. Yes, oh God. The Lord is saying that I'm releasing the reign of joy. In this week, you will laugh like you have never laughed before. The reign of joy is going to come on you overwhelmingly. They will not understand where it's coming from. He says, but I'm releasing my hand of joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The, the Lord is saying, as you have entered into the month of July, you have entered into the reign of rest in the name of Jesus Christ. You have entered into the reign of an uncommon overflow and uncommon testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that grace and power that will release the reign of rest and uncommon overflow. Somebody shout uncommon overflow. I keep on hearing this word, an uncommon overflow, an uncommon overflow, an, un an uncommon abundance of grace, an, an uncommon overflow of power. You're going to move in powerful dimensions like you've never before. The Lord is going to give you boldness in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Ahab sent the, to the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together on the Mount of Camel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long do you will you halt between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal is your God, then you can follow him. But if Baal is not going to make sure that he releases a word that releases the rain, you choose who's, which God you will serve this morning. Which God do you believe? Are you believing on the God of an uncommon overflow? I'm looking for people who are saying uncommon overflow, pastor, uncommon overflow in my life, uncommon prophetic manifestations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's too many prophetic words that are hanging over your life. Can we work those ones first? My God, Jesus, Karabashata Hasata. Elijah said, you have come with 450 prophets. I come alone. I don't need anybody else. And I'm here to announce to somebody that you don't need an army. You just need God by your side. You need to call on the God of Elijah who's going to come on that sacrifice and is going to put fire on that wood. Whatever has been needing that fire, that fireization that you need right now in Jesus' mighty name. 450 men could not do what Elijah did. And that's going to be your testimony. What others needed, 50,000, I don't know how many they needed, but they're going to look at you and then they're going to they're gonna see uncommon overflow on you and they're going to wonder how you did it. Oh my God. Let's raise this prayer right now. Father, let me associate with men who love you. Let me associate with those who will make sure that I, you release your godly reign on me. In the month of July and beyond, I declare and I decree, you will associate with godly men who will, uh, who will release the reign of God on you. Every spirit of confusion that has been restricting the fall of your reign. Right now, Father God, I bind it and I cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I release them from every demonic association that has been slowing them down, my God, for the reign of favor to fall upon them, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we renounce every belief system that has caused us to miss our lives and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, that thing that has been causing us to miss our opportunities, to miss our showers of blessings, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I speak to that left eye right now. I command it to be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. You will not miss it in your life. You will not miss it in your destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I, spring, I, I, I bring the most strongest objection with authority that you sent me this morning from heaven. I object to the spirit of every, every prophecy of destruction. Listen to this prophecy very well. I speak to every prophecy of doom that has been spoken over your life. Put your hand on your head. Any prophetic word of doom, any prophetic destruction word of doom that has been ever spoken in your life, right now, I command it to be removed and to catch the fire of the Holy Ghost. I remove every destructive prophecy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, 
Some of you, a, a, a destructive and prophetic word of doom was said to you. And you said amen unrealizingly. That you were, boss, are you confirming it? Yes. This is what happens. Because there's a form of godliness that happens in certain meetings. Because your, your, your discernment radar was so low. And you thought the person was a man or a woman of God. And you thought this is a servant of God. And they spoke something. And you accept it as it is. That was not God speaking. It was a prophetic word of doom. And as you said, amen, you actually stood in agreement and you made that thing take effect in your life. But the Lord is a forgiving God. The Lord is merciful. And right now I remove every prophetic word of doom and destruction. Because even when I, I want to teach you something, when a prophetic word that is a warning, even if I can see death coming, there must be something that God empowers me to do, to pray against. When I bring a prophetic word of warning to you, and I tell you there's an impending doom, an impending death, you have to change one, two, three. I have to give you the formula. The Lord does not, thank you Mabel for confirming that prophecy. The Lord cannot just release a prophetic word of doom if there is no room for a turnaround. I want you to tell your neighbor there's room for a turnaround. There's a room for repentance. That is why he has offered you the repentance to turn around. Some of you, you say amen to so many things because you are thinking, I'm in an atmosphere. That's why your ears have to be sharp. Your spiritual ears have to be very sharp. What are you saying amen to? I will not say amen to a life of struggle. I will not say amen to a doctrine that is off, that does not align with the word of God. That is why I'm saying we need to be planted in the word. You need to meditate on the word of God for yourself so that you are not prophesied amiss. Come on, somebody. There is room in the repentance altar. There is room. Shakura bayasata karya. There is room. There is room. Because some of you are planted on grounds and you are thinking, thinking you are serving in the right platforms. Thank you, Jesus. Let me be quick like this because I need to get back. Some of you, you are surrounded with words that are not necessarily biblical. They have nothing to do with the word of God. And you're thinking you are receiving the word of God. But in fact, your life has been in retrogression. You are not progressing. And you're wondering and you're saying, I've been going to church. I've been going to this particular place, this church, but things are not moving. I want you to check yourself. Give yourself the next two weeks. I want you to check what you've been listening to. That is why it's very important who you give your ear to, who you listen to. Because when you listen to just anybody, you open up your spirit. And that's when the false doctrine comes. And now you have taken the false doctrine, you have accepted it. Now it starts manifesting in you. So be very careful. So I had to deviate there because the Lord said, correct them fortune that we are in the last days. Yes, there are false prophets and they're going to speak things that do not align with my word, but teach them that they should search the scriptures for themselves before they shout that amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. So Father God, I pray this morning for everybody who's at the sound of my voice. Lord, as we repent from any amen that we said, from any destructive word, any person that we put our, our lives and our crowns, somebody who laid your, somebody who has laid hands on your head and suddenly you didn't have an issue with masturbation, but all of a sudden you started having issues of masturbation and, 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 and I see somebody else, your name is Johanna. You went to a specific meeting. And I see it is in a tent. You were laid hands on. 
But suddenly there was like a spirit of, of, of adultery that was contacted. And the Lord is saying that was the root that is causing the havoc that is happening in your life right now. Because now you've been going back and forth. You are debating and you are fighting about the divorce. And I know that this word that I'm giving to Johanna specifically, and this is something that has happened to some of you because you were laid hands on and you returned home. After that specific meeting, your marriage has been scattering because somebody laid hands on you and transferred a spirit of divorce. Father God, we rebuke every spirit of divorce right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I cancel every word. I cancel every evil hand that has laid hands on our crowns, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you to those who are confirming. You felt it because you saw the calamity that happened in your household. When you went home, you saw it. You saw it and suddenly you were fighting on things. Who's that person? I know, I know there's more of you. Thank you for those that have confirmed. Thank you, Jesus. You saw the atmosphere changing. Thank you so much for confirming. Yes, Natasha. The atmosphere changed. You saw it, right? I need you, whenever you come, you can go to whatever conference that they invite you to. But when you come back, I need you to say, Father, I cover, when you're going, even when you're coming back, you cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Father, anything that was said that is not aligning with your word, Father, I cancel it out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody who has laid hands on me, Father God, and transferred anything that is occultic, anything that does not have to do with your word, anything that does not speak goodness on me, Lord, I cancel it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I remove any destiny exchanger that has laid hands on me. Father, I retrieve every star of mine that has been stolen in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you, you didn't have problems with addictions and you are wondering why all of a sudden, thank God, I wanted just to teach the word today, but yeah. All of a sudden, there was a spirit of alcoholism in your family. It was because of evil hands that were laid on you. And right now, I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we renounce every belief system that was infused in us that has been causing us to miss your will for our lives and destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We reject every spirit of every prophet of destruction that has been postponing the release of rain in our life. Father, we call the rain. We are saying, let it rain. Every spirit that has been postponing the release of rain right now, Father, I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that every spirit of lukewarmness, every spirit of back sliding my God they are rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ to everybody who's at the sound of my voice I rebuke that spirit of lukewarmness in the things of God I rebuke that spirit of backsliding in the name of Jesus Christ it cannot be that like you are like a yo-yo you fall and you rise and you fall and you rise my God let your repentance be permanent in Jesus mighty name Karabashota call on the name of your God and I will call on the name of my Lord this morning Father God we came to call on the name of our Lord the one and only the triune God the God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Father, we call upon you, the God that answers by fire. We are saying, be God in our lives and answer by fire. And my God, my God, let it be that they shall say it is well spoken and the evidence shall be evident in Jesus' mighty name. In our lives, your presence shall be seen because you shall have answered by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I prophesy every prophet of Baal that has been trying to set themselves above who you are, my God. Every prophet of Baal that has been trying to dislodge us Oh my God, Karabashonda. Father, we call on the name of the Lord, Magodiabashonda, to deal with every prophet of Baal in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are drawing near to you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are repairing our altars of prayer. We are building our altars of prayer. We are rebuilding our altars of prayer. Whatever has been broken, oh God, let rebuild it again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
Somebody say, I'm rebuilding my altar. I'm rebuilding my altar of prayer. I'm rebuilding my prayer altar right now. Rebuild that prayer altar in the name of Jesus. I'm rebuilding my altar. Author, you are rebuilding your altar. Mamorena, you are rebuilding your altar. Chido, rebuild the altars. My God, my God. Shakoriyama Sotokuya. Elijah built an altar, and in the name of the Lord, he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. Shokodiyama. And it caught fire without any matches, without anything. My God, I'm rebuilding my altar. Some of you need to repent and rebuild your altars in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, rebuild your altars right now. God bless you, Kiriboni. God bless you, everybody who's giving gift. God bless you, everybody who's joining my team in Jesus' mighty name. My God, every contrary God that has been claiming lordship over my life, over our lives, we reject it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every God that is a small God that has been trying to Makodia Masonda. Zwabudisa, God bless you. I renounce my God. I stand in the gap, Lord. We renounce my God. I stand in the gap with them, Lord. I renounce the power of all spiritual lordships that is not submissive to the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that is trying to make itself a God above you, my God, I renounce in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we ask you, Lord, that you reign in our lives. Reign your reign of grace. Let the reign of grace begin to fall. Somebody say, let it rain. Rain, let it rain. Receive the, the grace. The rain of grace. God bless you, Leletu. Father, we, re we repair every broken altar of trust that is delaying our arrival to our breakthrough. Every altar of trust that is delaying our, our, our arrival to our breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we repair every broken altar of prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Every preparation that we need to get in place for that massive rainfall. Father God, help us, God, to get it ready. We are getting our altars ready for that heavy rainfall in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as we prepare it, oh God, we, we proclaim that the heavens are open and it's going to rain. In the name of Jesus, let it rain. God bless you. Let it rain, Sophie. My God, somebody proclaim your readiness for the arrival of rain. Say, I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready for the rain. I'm ready for the rain in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it rain. Draw me near to your grace, oh God. Draw me near to your altar of grace, to your altar of power. Somebody needs to draw closer. The Lord is calling you. He's saying, draw closer to the altar of grace, to the altar of power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, everybody who's giving. Bless you abundantly, Lady Mass. May the Lord plant you, you and, and plant inside of you the desire to always draw nearer to Him. Somebody shout in the comment section, draw me close to you. Thank you, Short and Spice. Draw me close to you, Jesus. Draw me nearer. Draw me nearer, blessed Savior. Draw me nearer to you, O oh God. Let the rain of abundance, let the sound of that abundance of rain draw me closer to you. Draw me closer to the rain of grace. Draw me closer to the rain of breakthrough in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you become, your prayer this morning is to say, Lord, let me not be a stranger to your presence. I prophesy that the presence of the Lord will not be a scarcity to you. I prophesy to you that the presence of the Lord will not be something that you have to crave for. There shall be no drought of the presence of God in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let them experience the evidence of serving you. Every single person that has served you, let them experience the evidence of serving you, of being your servant. Lord, show up in their life every single day, God. Show up in their life. May they experience the rain and may they experience the protection. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the performance of your power be proof, oh God. Father, let it be proved that I'm sent. 
that testimony that we've been receiving, everybody's testimony, every confirmation of every prophetic word on this altar, my God, let it be proof with your performance of your word on their lives, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in service to your mandate, oh God, I declare and I decree, oh God, that I will not be an orphan and they will not be orphans in Jesus' mighty name. They will not be an orphan where they don't experience the presence of their father, God. They will know that they have a parent, they have a father that is God, that is looking over them, that is providing for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that your covering, the covering of the Lord over your life shall not be removed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those of you who are planted under evil fathers, whether it is physical fathers or spiritual fathers in ministries or churches, Father God, Father God, I speak to those coverings to be removed and I speak that there's a covering that is going over them, my God, and that is the cover of the living God. Let the covering of the Holy Spirit supersede any covering. Let the covering of the Holy Spirit give you wisdom and discernment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, cover me, O oh Lord. Cover me, O oh Lord. Let me rest in your shelter in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Ecoas. God bless everybody who's giving. May the Lord expand. May the showers of blessing. I want to pray a, a prophetic, ballistic blessing over everyone's finances. Everybody who has sown into my life. Everybody who has sown into God's kingdom. Every vow that you have made, you will redeem. Everything that you have done, every prophetic seed that you have sown. Father God, per adventure it was sowed on the wrong ground. My God, turn it around for their good in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord hear your cry this morning. May the Lord hear your cry this morning. Somebody shout it out loud and say, God, hear the cry of my business. Hear the cry of the works of my hands. God, hear my cry. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. Hear the cry of my business. Hear the cry, oh God. Hear my cry over that child that is rebellious. Hear my cry. Let me know your finger of God. You will know the finger of God after today. The Lord is hearing your cry. Come on, hear my cry. Hear my cry. Sarana, he's definitely hearing your cry. In the next seven days, you're going to experience the finger of God. Hear my cry, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear my cry. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tini, let there be a turnaround in your finances like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them know the finger of God. Let every single person who's typing in that comment section and saying, hear my cry, oh God, let them experience the hand of God. Let the finger of God begin to teach them what they need to do. My God, let there be a manifestation. Let there be an answer to everybody who's typing, hear my cry, oh God. Let there be an answer to their cries, oh God. You are not a fable, God. You are real. You are not a fiction, God. You are real. He's a real God. Let every operation in your destiny be a stepping stone. God, let every one of God's operations in our destinies be a stepping stone into the world. Let it be a stepping stone that many shall come into repentance of the, of the world. They will repent of the world because they will see the elevation and the change and the shift that is happening in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are here this morning. We are announcing, Lord, that we crave your strength. We crave your answers, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let us be consumed. We crave your strength. We crave that statement of purpose. We crave the manifestation of our purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you reveal yourself. Reveal yourself in our lives. Reveal yourselves in our families. In Jesus' mighty name, let the fire of God fall on us. Let the rain of God, let the rain of favor fall on us, O oh God. Let the fire change everything. My God. Somebody say, let it rain. Let the fire that purges every sin fall upon you so that your rain can fall in abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, somebody shout a resounding amen. 
Somebody call on the fire of God to also fall, to consume everything that he does not want in your life, to consume everything that has been a blockade in your life. Right now, let the fire fall in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every single person under the influence on my voice. Let your fire consume all about anything that is not a worthy sacrifice for you in Jesus' mighty name. And turn it around to become a, a worthy sacrifice in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be a grace that accompanies for everyone who to see visibly. Let them see let there be a grace that is abundantly visible. The evidence that will show that I serve a living God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, I thank you. God bless you those who are giving. Father, I pray for humility upon every single person that is on the sound of this voice that I have this morning. The word that I have brought this morning. That your reign of abundance, your showers of blessings are about to fall down us, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray for humility in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That which will make the whole world announce that the Lord is God and the Lord is God. Do it now. Father, do that thing in our lives that will announce that you are God. Do it now. Somebody say, do it now, Lord. Announce to the world. Do that thing in me that will announce that you are God. Do that thing that will announce that you are God. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, do it now, Lord. Somebody say, do it now. Do it now, Lord. Do it now, Lord. That thing that will announce me, do it now. Let there be a shower of blessing that breaks every curse of poverty in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the showers of blessings begin to abound right now in Jesus' mighty name. He says, I will make them. I will make them. And the places round about and the places around my hill a blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in his season there shall be showers of blessings that says the word through the prophet of Ezekiel he says the Lord is saying there's going to be a showers of blessings around your hill around your roundabout wherever you are there's going to be a shower of blessing he says fear not he says be glad and rejoice fear not be glad and rejoice do it now Lord he says, I'm the God. I'm going to do great things in your life, KK. Felix, he says, I'm the Lord your God and I'm going to do great things in your life. Be not afraid. Don't afraid of the beast in the field. Be glad. Children of Zion, be glad. Hallelujah. Because he says, God has given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. In this first month of the second half of the year, in this month, in this first month of this second part of July, the Lord is bringing the latter rain. How, hallelujah. You're going to experience the rain. God bless you, Lakewood. And the four floors shall be full of wheat. Your floors are about to be full of wheat. He's talking about abundance. He's talking about overflow. No lack. I cancel poverty in your life, Mankana, in Jesus' name. He's going to do it or say in Jesus' name. There shall be an overflow of the wine and the oil. He says, I'm going to restore the years that the locust has eaten from them. There's going to be an all-round restoration. They will eat in plenty and they will be satisfied and they will continue to praise me because I'm a God that inhabits the praises of my people. Somebody say, I praise you, Jesus. They will know that I'm in the midst of them, that I'm their Lord, their God and none else and my people shall not be ashamed i want you to announce to somebody and shout it out loud and say i will not be ashamed i will not be ashamed in the mighty name of jesus christ child of god when god created the world he put some natural principles in place which can guarantee that you are going to be guaranteed a measure of blessing so you're not leaving this broadcast not knowing or not having your blessing i want you to receive your blessing right now and declare i will not be ashamed i'm taking my blessings in jesus mighty name only the blessings of the almighty god can give you the kind of peace that knows no trouble so I prophesy to you who has been saying, Pastor, I've been having sleepless nights. I have been having insomnia. I have been having so much troubles. I cannot have peace. Right now, he says, I'm reigning the peace that surpasses all understanding. 
my God. The psalmist understood this principle and hence he declared that only the ultimate shepherd can take you to the green pastures. I am prophesying to you right now that the shepherd who is your king and your Lord and savior, Jesus Christ, is the one that is taking you to green pastures. He is switching things around. He's taking you from those dry pastures. He's saying, I'm taking you to green grass. I'm making your leaves green. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, somebody say, I receive the shower of blessings. Somebody say, I receive the showers of blessings. Let it rain. Open the floods of heaven. Open the floodgates. Let it rain. Let it rain. Oh, somebody needs to receive the showers of blessings. Open the floodgates of heaven, Jesus. Let it rain, Jesus. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Your showers of blessings are the starting point to your tremendous life that you're about to experience. This month of July, I unlock the showers of blessings that are going to elevate you, catapult you. Come on, somebody. It's a start of tremendous blessings for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You're going to suddenly realize that those things that were difficult for you are now suddenly easy. Somebody shout suddenly. Shout suddenly. I prophesy a God of suddenly in your life. The suddenly, the suddenly rain, the sudden showers of blessing. God bless you, Sophia. God bless you. You will suddenly realize that what others are finding difficult to do, you are going to achieve them faster. It's going to be easy for you, Lesiko. Yes. Martin, it's going to be easy for you. The wind of the Holy Spirit is blowing. It's blowing to you, Nom Tandazo. The wind of the Lord's blessings is coming to you. Your name is Gerald. Thank you, Jesus. There is a wind that is blowing around you right now. And it's the Lord confirming. He's blowing it out to you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Let it rain. Blessings have been poured on you. The data of yesterday has become the lender of many nations. I hear a switch. He says, those of you who have been borrowing, you will be the one who's lending. Somebody prophesy and declare it with me. I'm switching and no longer will I be a borrower, but I will be a lender to the nations. I will be a lender to the nations. I will be a lender. Catherine, you're going to be a lender to the nations. The Lord is saying, you're going to be the lender. I'm switching it around. You're not going to be the one who's borrowing from people anymore. You're going to be the lender. Joanne, the Lord says, I must mention you. That you are coming out of debt in the name of Jesus Christ. James. I'm saying these names as I'm hearing them in the spirit. I'm just waiting. If you confirm, you confirm. You're going to be a lender to the nations. Thank you so much. God bless those who are confirming. Let it rain, Jesus. Let it rain, Jesus. Let it rain, Jesus. You are switching. You are switching levels. You are switching. You are shifting. That negative medical report of yesterday, you are switching. I hear the Lord saying the negative report, that medical report that was negative, it's turning around to becoming a testimony today. Somebody prophesied, come on, talk to me. Those of you who received, there's somebody who received a, ne a negative medical report yesterday. The Lord is saying, I'm turning it around right now. It's becoming a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. You received a negative report. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
Thank you, Jesus. It's a stomach cancer. Cancer in your stomach area. And they found complications in your bladder as well. I turn it around right now. That report is becoming a testimony. Thank you for confirming. I see it. Turn it around, oh God. It's becoming a testimony right now in Jesus' mighty name. What is irreversible with man, it's, it's reversible with God. God is able to reverse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn it around, Jesus. Somebody who needs that medical report to be turned around. Even if I didn't mention specifically your case, I need you to tap into that. I speak to breast cancer right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Turn it around, oh God, turn it around. Father, I speak to every biopsy that is being performed. The God that does not know the inflammation, the God that did not plant the inflammation, Olive, lay hands on your chest right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Olive, did you hear me? Put your hands on your chest right now. Father, the same way that you re reversed the sarcoidosis in my lungs, the same way, oh God, that you healed me, my God, the same way you terminated the word of the doctors, the same way you reverse that diagnosis. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command that biopsy to produce a clean report in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your reign of healing flow, my God. When they perform that biopsy, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy and I decree and I declare your lungs are clean in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Olive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in advance. You can still go and go and confirm. I send that divine surgery on that hernia, Gwen. Father, perform that divine surgery and heal that hernia in Jesus' mighty name. I command the reflux to go back and to settle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Nobantu, for standing in the gap for your husband. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Father, I reverse that letter of termination of employment. Somebody was about to receive a letter of employment. Le the, the letter of termination of employment, I beg your pardon. They were planning to give it to you tomorrow. I reverse it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody was about to go for a disciplinary hearing this coming Tuesday. My God, I ask for mercy and intervention. Come back and tell me how the evidence went. Just like that. There's no evidence. In Jesus' mighty name. I speak to high blood pressure. I command you to go in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Turn it around, oh God.
Who's that person going for disciplinary hearing on Tuesday? Your witness will not show up. The witness that they, that they said is going to show up is not going to show up. And there will be inconsistencies that are found. There's another person. There are three witnesses that have been lined up for you. And there's going to be inconsistencies because their story will not match up. Okay. Ah, user four six. I see you. Thank you for confirming. Instead of termination letter, may you receive a letter of appointment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you. They've made up, they've cooked up the story because they want to terminate you for no reason. My God. Safia. Thank you for that confirmation. Was that you? Father, we reverse it in Jesus' name. We reverse it, Lord. We ask for mercy, oh God. I ask for mercy. I ask for the reign of mercy on Safia right now in Jesus' mighty name. Bongi, I command that spiritual husband to leave you right now in Jesus' mighty name. I uproot every form of marine spirit that has been tormenting you. I close the gates in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Bongi, I need you to do certain things in the coming week. For the next seven days, I need you to go on a fast. And if you can, on Wednesday, go on a dry fast. And on Friday next week, go on a dry fast. Everybody who is under the influence of a spiritual husband, wage a warfare. Bongi, I want you to wage the biggest warfare that you have ever war because don't allow those marine spirits. You can inbox me. I will send you something. If you need direction in terms of prayers. You are blessed, Christine, and your parents are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Every spiritual husband, receive your deliverance right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a carrier of Jesus' blessings. The blessings of the Lord. I want you to declare it in the comment section and say, I carry the blessings of the Lord. Thank you. Inbox me. Send me your WhatsApp. Join the WhatsApp group. Every single person. I, I, I can see I'm not going to be able to do this one by one. This is what we're going to do. Every single person who has been suffering of a spiritual husband. Oh my God, give me grace. From tomorrow until sunday we are going on a fast i'm gonna announce in the whatsapp group we're gonna have a separate zoom session it's not gonna be here because there are certain things it's either gonna be on google meet or on zoom so if you are it's on google meet make sure you've got a gmail address okay make sure you join my my whatsapp group please do me that favor and, and say in the inbox, when you inbox me, whether you send me on IG and say, pastor, I need to be part of the meeting for the issue of the spiritual husbands or spiritual spouses. There's certain things that are going to happen in that meeting that I cannot be able to control what is happening in this meeting, but we are going to go on a fast. Thank you, Jesus. Are we together? I carry the blessing of the Lord. Are we together? Did everybody hear me? Every, every single person. There's more than one person. The issue of spiritual husbands and wives is something that is very, very technical. And we need to deal with it hectically. So I need every single person. 
I need every, you, you send me your email address and you send me your WhatsApp number and you join the WhatsApp group. I'm going to send you certain materials that I need you to go through and prepare for yourself because I need us to do this very fast. And I'm going to announce to you what time we're meeting. It's not going to be 5 a.m. It's probably going to be early evenings. I carry the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, let me move on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody say, God, I will not let you go. I need to close. Today is Sunday. Oh, my God. How do you join the WhatsApp, my darling? You're going to go and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my handle. I'm coming on the TikTok on Mara Official right now. And I'm going to put my Fortune L online. You follow me on TikTok, Fortune L online. You follow my YouTube, you follow my IG. Or you can also find me on Facebook. You send a message. But on my TikTok profile specifically, that's the first point where you go. There is a video that has got a barcode. You screenshot that barcode. And you take your camera of your phone and you scan it. When you've opened your WhatsApp, you scan it with your camera, you'll be in the WhatsApp group. But I'm also going to ask, please, I'm asking. My moderators, do not disappear on me. I need you to put the email address. So whichever way, I don't know if, I think email addresses don't show up on the, that's the problem. So I'm going to put my handle. You're going to have to inbox me. TikTok does not allow us to share email addresses. It doesn't allow us to share phone numbers over the broadcast like this. So I'm going to rather share my handle. It's Fortune L online. Okay. So after this broadcast, if you are on Mara official, where I'm pointing there at the top, you follow Apostle Mara, you turn on the notification bell. You can also inbox him and say, please, I need to get this information to Pastor Fortune. You, you look for me on, on, on TikTok. This is my handle. Be careful. Check, check now. I'm going to pin it. That comment that I've pinned now, you see that word fortune. My name is fortune F O R T U N E as in like wealth and the word L online fortune L online. You're going to follow that account on TikTok. You're going to follow that account on IG. You're going to follow it on YouTube. You can follow it also on, on Facebook. But how you communicate with me? Through Messenger on Facebook, on IG as well, to inboxing me on TikTok as well. Please do that. Because if Apostle Mara is not around, I might not be able to access his inbox. So I need you to send me your email address and you send me your WhatsApp number. I will respond with either a link to the WhatsApp group that you will just click on it and you will be in the WhatsApp group. That's going to be the easiest. Okay, so anybody who sends me an inbox, whether you are asking for a prayer request or a dream interpretation, I'm just going to put a link of the WhatsApp group. And guys, if you go to my videos on the comment section, there's a point where I've answered that whole string of the WhatsApp group link. It's there. Let me pin it one more last time before I close off. Somebody say, let it rain. I'm going to do this as a group, right? So please, those of you who are joining any of the meetings, it's easier for me like that. At least I don't have to, to strain. God, I will not let you go. Let it rain. Please make sure you follow me so that I can communicate with you. After this, I will go to all my pinned videos and I'm going to, I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste the the whatsapp group link i'm actually going to take the liberty to go to mara official and his first pin video i'm going to put in the comment section the string of the whatsapp group i think that's better let it rain the importer has also um put it there amen somebody let it rain let it rain let it rain Make sure you give me a follow very quickly and you turn on the notification bell, okay? There's a lot we cannot cover um, on the open broadcast all the time. And sometimes there are very private things that come out and I'm just respecting your confidentiality. And that's why I will organize and you, I will see whether it's better. If you struggle with Zoom and you tell me I'm good with Zoom, I'm good with uh, Google Meet. 
Thank you, Jesus. And please do fast and do it really if you really want to be free from it. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for every single person that has tuned in this morning. I declare and I decree that dryness in their lives is finished in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke every spirit of dryness. I command that their spiritual life shall be fruitful and rain of blessings shall, shall overshadow them in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke dryness in your finances. I rebuke dryness in your marriage. I rebuke dryness in your blessings, in your ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God, I will not let you go. Let it rain. Somebody pray with me and say, Father, grant me a blessing that will settle my finances in my life. Grant me a blessing. I don't know what you're believing God for, but ask him to grant you a blessing that will settle you. Whatever it is that you're believing him for and say, God, grant me a blessing that will finalize and perfect my healing. Grant me a blessing. There's a rain of blessings that have come. You need to understand that blessings are benefits. Hallelujah. You are a child of God. You are entitled to blessings. And blessings are not only physical. Blessings are also tangible things. It's okay to ask God for the tangible things in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for the blessings of joy in my life. Thank you for all round favor in Jesus mighty name. This is the heritage of every single person that is listening to the sound of my voice right now. The blessings of the Lord brings wealth and adds no pain to it. Hallelujah. Proverbs 10, 22 says, The blessing of the Lord brings wealth and without painful toil for it. You don't have to pain, suffer pain for everything in your life. You don't have to suffer pain. You don't even have to pay for everything in your life. Did you know that? Did you know that there are helpers of destiny that can just come and bless you? Thank you, Jesus. Let the blessings overshadow you. He says, I'm giving you a blessing and I'm giving you a blessing of wealth. I add no sorrow to it. That means you don't have to bribe me for it. You don't have to sleep your way up for it. I'm giving you the blessing just like that. There's not going to be a pain to it. That There's no pain attached to it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No pain. Father, we're going to experience the reign of blessings in our life. Father, we surrender our lives to you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sin that we have committed, anything, any way we have, we have missed it. Father God, we repent this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and we declare we will experience a reign of blessings. We will walk in the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, we will be guided by your words in everything. Father God, we will study your word. We will walk according to the principles of what you have taught us, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare and we decree that you are our shepherd and we have everything that we need. Somebody say, the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I am generous. I'm a giver. I'm going to experience the, 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 the love of God and, 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 and the blessings of God in my finances in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, my altar of prayer has been rebuilt and I will continue to flourish, my God. My altar of prayer shall continue to grow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the rain of blessings fall upon you, Mankana. Let the rain of blessings fall on you, Debbie, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, it's falling on your finances right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. The Lord is your shepherd. The Lord is your shepherd. It's falling on you. 
Simone is falling on you in Jesus' mighty name. You walk in the overflow, Ndumaiza, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hermeline, you are walking in the overflow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leletu, Jesus. Are you shopping for a new car? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord shall establish you. The Lord shall establish the works of your hands. The Lord shall prosper you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The rain of blessings are falling upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Receive your blessings. Receive your blessings right now. Sister Dockers, receive your blessings. Your salvation shall speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. You can go ahead and buy the car. It's a done deal. Thank you, God. You are a covenant-keeping God. Father, we decree and we declare we walk in the covenant blessings of Abraham. From now on, O oh God, none of us shall be cursed, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free of curses in Jesus' mighty name. Every foundational curse that has been fighting us, my God, I rebuke in Jesus' mighty name. Father, bless us and enlarge our territories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you, Lord, that you have delivered every single person that is at the sound of my voice uh, from every spirit of lack in, and want in Jesus' mighty name. You are free from every spirit of lack and want in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm about to lose power on Mara Official, so I'm going to close. And you guys can jump over and find me on Fortune Online because I'm just going to greet people and say goodbye quickly. So, let me go back to Takunda Mara's account. Shakura Basa Takaniya Masa Takaniya Basa. I think my technical team makes sure that all my devices go flat at a particular time because they want me to close. God bless you, Safia. Guys, do you see that Fortunel Online account? Please make sure after this broadcast, if this phone goes flat, you just jump on into my broadcast, okay? And we just greet each other there. You are... Noella, have you been having um, some kind of sleep paralysis? You've been going into like a trance. You've been having like sleep paralysis where you find yourself that you cannot speak. Ha. Huh. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you free Noella from every form of spiritual paralysis. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sleep paralysis, I command every marine spirit to break free from you in Jesus' mighty name. Let them loose you right now in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Nuella, I declare you are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Grace, what is the contention that you are having with your uncle? I declare and I decree that you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Heavenly blessings, heavenly spiritual blessings are resting on you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see an issue that you have with your uncle. I pray for every restoration of every marriage in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing that relationship, oh God. May the Lord remember you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for every single person that is believing God for a job. I pray that the Lord will give you ideas and creativity. Let it rain from all sides in Jesus' mighty name. That which has been slipping away from you, my God, I speak to the foundations. Okay. I speak to the foundations that are fighting you. I speak to those spirits that are fighting you, that are making you, everything is slipping away from your fingers. It's like everything you touch, it's like you're just taking 10 steps back. 
Misa. Okay. If you're... F mm. Father, I pray for Misa and I pray for that relationship with his, her uncle in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak restore. Father, I cover her with the blood of Jesus and protection of God. There shall be no incantation. There shall be no curse. No harm shall come near you in Jesus' mighty name. Miss, I made the Lord. I wanted to ask you to tell me what you saw in the dream, but I think it might be too graphic. But that was the warning that definitely, yes, he is up to something. And the Lord revealed it to you in a dream as a warning so that you pray against it. So I'm going to ask you to please focus your prayers on, on protection. Stand on Psalm 91, my darling. I pray for restoration for you, Linda Agekum. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord restore you. May the Lord give you new equipment. May the Lord give you all the resources. I speak a flourishing in your saloon business. In Jesus' mighty name. You have indeed found peace attached, Biami. That is the Holy Spirit confirming. Annalie, I speak to your heart to be mended. It's difficult to get over grief. But just know that he, she, he is actually looking at you from heaven. He has joined this, the, the, the host of angels. He's looking down on you. And he wants you to know to be happy. He's saying, mommy, I know if you had any control over it, but God needed me. Are you hearing me, Anneli? Thank you, Jesus. Annalie, your child is saying, Mommy, it's okay. I'm in a safe place. I'm resting in the bosom of the Lord. And the Lord will restore. In Jesus' mighty name. Abina, show up either way. Show up either way. Whatever the shortfall is, show up either way. May mercy speak for you in Jesus' name. Bonjour, Esperance. Comment ça va? Let it rain, Lord. Spirit of alcohol addiction, let it rain. Let it shower it out. Let that rain cleanse in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to close. It's almost seven. I have to be out in an hour. I have to go get ready. Father, I speak to that womb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stembile, I speak to that issue. Lay hands on your womb right now. Father, I speak that conception into being. Father, in the next 14 days, may she return with a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it rain. Somebody say, let it rain. The Lord is rewriting your story, D, in Jesus' name. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you, Jesus. Every healing that you need. Every healing that you need. Receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. Every healing that you need. Let it rain. 
Can we worship God as we close? Thank you, Jesus. Guys, make sure you're giving me a follow. God bless everybody on Facebook and on YouTube. God bless you. Let it rain. Let the blessings of God continue to shower you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Vimbai, I prophesy rain of abundance. Chido, I prophesy rain of abundance. Brenda, rain of abundance. Nyawa, rain of abundance. Let it rain in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Sharon Singh. Those of you on YouTube, I prophesy a reign of abundance. Let there be a shifting. Let there be a realignment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord give you renewed strength in the Singh family. In Jesus' mighty name, Nikki Jackson, I prophesy a reign of blessings in your finances. In Jesus' mighty name, Leah Felix, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to that application for that green card in the name of Jesus to be granted in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to pray and send it forth. Let the foundation in your family be God and continue to pray for that green card in Jesus' mighty name. Zodwa Magwaza, I speak to you right now. I, I, I prophesy from today, you will pray. Zodwa, every single video, if you want to start with this month, working it back, I need you to pray along with it every single day. Go and to my, as you're on that YouTube, you go to that live broadcast and the video section. You pray until that altar resonates within you. In the next 21 days, come and tell me the story back. Emmanuel, God bless you. Ayis, Emmanuel, Ayisi, may the Lord expand you in Jesus' mighty name. Did I cover everybody? Anybody that I did not see your comment, so sorry. But I pray for you. You are favored. Let it rain. God bless you. God bless everybody on YouTube and Facebook. I'm shutting down now. God bless you. Remember, um, we, I think there's an online broadcast at 11. Um, and But it will not be on TikTok like this. Okay, so those of you who are interested on our church broadcast, you, you can watch it on YouTube. God bless you guys. I love you so much. God bless you. Everybody on Facebook and YouTube, thank you so much.